Today on the channel, ride em cowboy with the GameStop exclusive, Gunslinger Spawn. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Welcome everyone, Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel for another McFarlane Toy Spawn unboxing and review. And today here at the table, we've got the McFarlane Toys Gunslinger Spawn GameStop exclusive. But remember, for all your other Spawn, DC, McFarlane, and everything else under the sun needs, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use the link in the description below to save 10% on all in-stock merchandise. And of course, over $39 it ships free. Got to get a deal. And a deal was had at GameStop this time for the Gunslinger Spawn and his horse. One of these things you pre-order when it goes up uh, on a crazy rainy day sometime, let's say in uh, March, let's call it. And then all of a sudden you're surprised on a kind of cooler fall-like day and let's call it September, how about? But Gunslinger Spawn is here. Honestly, I forgot I ordered this, and I think that happens to a lot of us, especially in this pre-order madness days we're in. Now, I got this thing because it was the shiny new toy, and I'm a big Spawn guy from back in the day, of course, but looking at this now in my September vision, I'm like, wait a minute, I already have this horse in black. I already have the Gunslinger Spawn. I did not get that second Gunslinger Spawn, so I guess I'm a little bit okay, but an interesting one, a little bit more pricier pack, but I did use some points. I did use some of that stuff. Got to get a deal. You guys know how that goes. Uh, but I don't know. Does this justify the cost? Is this worth it? I guess we're going to find out. We're going to find out the way we always do is we're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's take a look at this big box. And this really does take me back. The big window box, the big deluxe box set here. This screams just 80s and 90s toys is really how this feels to me really do like this the big window box is cool would look great if you could ever find this horse and get him to put a hoof print on here or maybe you find the gunslinger spawn at your local walgreens store and he signs this for you or maybe just todd mcfarlane could sign it for you but would look really cool with an autograph on the front if you were into that kind of thing up top corner mcfarlane designer edition uh, so I guess that's more of their uh, designer edition. I don't know. I don't know the technical terms. He's got a lot of different terms for things. you got the gold label editions and, and things like that. But this is the designer edition for those keeping track at home. Got the Spawn logo down below. Gunslinger Spawn, of course. You can see the accessories there. You can see the figure and the horse strapped in there. We'll have to take it offline to get him out of the box, of course. And a horse of a horse is, of course, of course, like Mr. Ed would say. But there's a nice uh, little comic book uh, picture there. Of course, Gunslinger Spawn, I believe, is a recent version of Spawn. I believe the comic book just recently came out within the last year or so. Uh, for those, once again, keeping track at home. Spawn on the side. And on the back, no blurb, no cross-sell, nothing going on. Just a big art mural, basically. So a little interesting there. But a big deluxe pack. It definitely feels deluxe. Definitely comes with a deluxe price point, but without further ado, let me take this offline, let me get this uncorked, and we'll be back talking all things Gunslinger Spawn and his horse. All right, we got the Gunslinger at the table out of the box, and he came in on his white horse like any good guy would do, and of course, we're going to talk about this in a second, but we're going to start with the accessories as we usually do. Now, we have had two versions of Gunslinger Spawn before. Uh, really, the other two versions, the only difference really being the weapons, well, it brings both the sets of weapons here today at the table and of course the first generation the first gunslinger spawn we got the long rifle and we got the exact same one with this pack right here but you got the wood nice wood on there a little bit of flame effect and steel the steel and the wood coloring go really good together give it the old timey feel but also a futuristic feel to it i guess is how i kind of view these weapons a little bit but we got this one with the gunslinger spawn then we got his two pistols as well once again you get the wrapping here i love the skull detail on the handle of the uh, gun here, but it looks good. Silver, once again, much like the other one, but you get two pistols here, like any gunslinger should have, of course. And then from the second version of Gunslinger Spawn, we get the big Gatling gun. Now, I passed on that. I said, this gun is not worth me buying that figure all over again. So I'm happy I do get it here. And you could mix and match with your Gunslinger Spawns, give them different weapons, do whatever you want. Choose your own weapon adventure, as one might say. Uh, but this is the big old Gatling gun, a very bronzish color to it, very futuristic looking. The steel, once again, a heavy gun because it is a big heavy-duty gun after all. So we do get that. That's the weapon accessories. 
But then we get the horse. We get the gunslinger horse, and uh, he comes here stuck on the horse, and he is locked in, which you almost hate to take him off because you know he's never going to fit on this horse uh, this way ever again. But for science, we got to do it. That's what we always do here. Uh, it's basically a science channel at this point. But there he is, the old gunslinger. We're going to knock him off first. We're going to put him off the side. We're going to talk all things about this horse. Now, this isn't the first time McFarland Toys has given us a horse. Of course, we had a horse, of course. I keep saying that. I feel like I'm watching Mr. Ed. Uh, but this is the second, let's see, one, two, third incarnation of this horse from McFarland Toys. Some tweaks, some differences, of course. Now, we did get one of these as a Build-A-Figure in a Batman wave. I do have that one. You guys have seen me unbox that one on the channel. There's also, I think it's a Netflix show. I've never seen it. Don't know anything about it. Maybe one day I'll check it out. I don't know. Probably not. But it's called The Witcher. And I do see the McFarland Harlan Witcher toys and there is a Witcher horse that you can buy on his own so for a lot of people they bought that horse or they got the build a figure horse for their gunslinger spawn or something else well now we have our own spawn uh, horse right here so those are the two this is the third edition of course this is a white horse so that's very easy to do you paint it a different color and bam you're off to the races but there is some differences and I figured I'd grab this off right now here is the McFarlane Toys DC Build-A-Figure Horse for Batman. And you can see right off the bat, the manes are totally different. Looks like the heads are different. I think so. It looks like this one has a little bit of a longer snout. Is that right on a horse? I'm not sure of my horse anatomy. Uh, but a lot of reuse, of course, down to the legs, things like that. Some of the reins and things uh, are different on this one. The saddle seems to be totally different. So at first thought, I said, oh, this is just reuse. They're just going to reuse, reuse. No, it's really totally different horse. So if you're an equestrian fan or you like to go down to the track and bet on the ponies, maybe you want to start collecting some of these horses. Who knows? Because there is a lot of different. You get the bag on the back here. You get the saddle bags off to the side on this new one. You get kind of the, I don't know, they call it a rug that sits over the saddle. So you got that going there. We just have a saddle on this one, some reins and some saddles. This is a, a horse that looks like it's been taken care of, and this looks like a demon horse of some kind. Uh, but definitely differences here, but the articulation remains the same. You got the ball joint on the tail back and forth. Tail, this tail feels a lot harder. This is a little softer plastic material, just a little bit different there. You do get articulation at the, we'll just call it the elbow on the front and the back legs. I don't know. And then you do get the ball joint at the ankle, and then you get the uh, ankle that turns right there as well. So you get a lot of good articulation on the legs on these. You can't flay out with them, only back and forth. So you can kind of do some horse splits if you really needed to. You do have to find the right position on these. you got to kind of figure out where the hooves go to get this to sand. It has to be kind of just, just done just right to get this to stand. But it can easily be done, of course. But a very, very good-looking horse. And I'm very happy to report that this is a heck of a lot different than this one. And I think even the Witcher one. The Witcher one is a black horse as well. So really like that idea. It's a totally different horse. Uh, I'm going to call it a totally different horse. So I feel a lot better about this purchase uh, knowing that and I think you guys would as well as there's a lot of things you can do with these horses of course you can <laughs> horse of course I'm going to say it a hundred times in this video but you can put the gunslinger spawn on it of course you can use the Batman that we had of course you can get your very own figure your very own Kyle Peterson figure and he can hop on that horse and uh, be off to the races Kyle's never even been on a horse I don't think I don't think I've ever been on a horse in my life but doesn't mean my action figure can't right eh, cowboy Kyle rides again but worth the money on this horse here. But now we get to the gunslinger spawn. Now, this is where maybe a lot of people are lost a little bit uh, because obviously we've got this gunslinger spawn two times in the past. So is there enough meat on the bone for the average Joe to pick this one up? But of course, let's take a look at this guy here. He does got his big plastic... Uh, jacket. I got a little bit of wind swept here, a little bit of bend to the plastic, so it is a little annoying getting his face. I'm going to have to smooth that out or hold that or heat it up uh, to change that, but he does have that. He's got his big old top hat on. Of course, you give anybody this head, they're going to know it's spawn all the way down to the green eyes, of course. Got the little uh, chain there across with the skulls. Got some spiking up there on the top. Of course, he's got his holster back here for his long bow rifle. Long bow rifle? Sure, why not? His long rifle you can put back there. You got some demolition spiking on the forearms and on the bicep, uh, looking good. And then he's got the spawn, of course, chest. We've seen his spawn. Got the Ace of Spades Bandito bullet belt going there. Got the holsters on the side. Got a knife there. It is not removable. 
a uh, lot going on here. Then you got the spurs down on the bottom, the spikes on the toes, the spikes around the top, uh, almost lower knee. Uh, very, very cool. He's got a lot of stuff going, but once again, a lot of reuse from the other one. I guess I could pull this one out, uh, kind of compare the differences. And the biggest difference I see throughout on this one is you got a very light kind of dirty red. It's almost like a, it used to be bright red, but it's been worn through storms and stuff and dirt. Uh, now it's just very, very light, dusty red where you got the more vibrant red on this one. So maybe it's one of those things, how it started and how it ended. Maybe that could be the story there. Uh, but besides that, a lot of similarities. It's pretty much the exact same sculpt throughout, just a little bit different color tones, just, just off enough. Unfortunately, we didn't get a McFarlane stand with this. I'm a little bit surprised. We also didn't get a card to read about what's the story with Gunslinger Spawn. We didn't get any of that stuff, which I guess I'm not real surprised that that's kind of been uh, the way the Spawn figures have been going. Articulation-wise, you get the head, of course, moving side to side, all around, up and down. A lot of good head movement. Even with that big collar and the big hat, you still get good head movement out of this guy. Uh, arms go all the way around. Of course, you got a bicep cut. Double-jointed elbows. you got hands back and forth. you got a waist back and forth. you got a hula hoop at the top. you got splits. He can do pretty good splits. He's got to get on a horse, after all. Uh, then you get the thigh cut, and you get the double-jointed knees. You get the toe articulation, the ankles, and no boot cut on this guy. Uh, but he does look good, but I prefer the original version. The brighter, more vibrant colors I do truly think look better. Uh, I guess it's to your own preference, though, is what you got to figure out. And, of course, like we said, he does fit on the horse. He had no issues going on there, but the horse, you got to work it. you got to find that sweet spot to get him to stand. Uh, that's the way it's going to go. And I'm not, my mind's not made up if I'm going to keep this horse with him or not, or if I'm going to give this to somebody else. I'm not exactly sure, but I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out for my display one of these days. And it's going to be a pain trying to get him to stand right now. Maybe, oh, I got it. I found the sweet spot, of course. There it is. So Gunslinger Spawn, one of those ones that's not going to be for everybody. A lot of people got this spawn uh, in the past. They're saying, I'm not buying the same figure just to get a horse. I'll get the Witcher one. I'll get the Build-A-Figure one. I'll wait for a loose deal, something like that. I understand that point of view for sure. But for some, this is like, hey, I played the long game. I didn't get this Gunslinger spawn. I was waiting for something like this. So if that is the case, you, my friend, are the true winner here. As you got all the weapons, you got the figure, and you got the horse, man, go buy yourself a lottery ticket. That's what I would say. But what say you? Where do you fall in on this one? Easy pass from day one, waiting for something like this. You were good with just this. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on Gunslinger Spawn. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some. And then uh, don't forget about the Patreon link in the description below. Early access to videos, bonus content, exclusive content, monthly giveaways, dog stuff, uh, pizza parties, you name it. There's a lot going on over there on the Patreon. Love to have you aboard, and of course, it is the best way to support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget to follow along on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Gunslinger Spawn and Gunslingers Everywhere, I am Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.